Rise and shine, folks. Yeah, your boy's up kind of early. What time is it? 9.46. But, no, I'm out. I'm out here messing. Been messing with stuff for the past couple of days. But I came across one of my old microwaves. You know what I mean? It's, it's old, but I need to clean it a little bit. Be not using it because I thought it blew up on us a little while ago. But it wasn't working. Something, so you know. Let's see what's gonna do. Cause I know Mom Dukes needs one. Hers, hers is raggedy. I'll show hers. I might show y'all hers. That's how bad it is. I don't even wanna show y'all hers. Because if y'all think <laughs> something wrong with this one, yeah. For me to be trying to give this one up. Her has gotta be worse. And no, we didn't just get a new microwave. We been, we got another microwave. This microwave right here, I had out in the storage room. And you know how you out there cleaning, even though it's not spring clean, I'm out there cleaning up my storage room, getting it right, for whatever. So I come across the microwave, I'm like, hey, dad, is this the microwave that broke on us? Cause I think it did kind of slightly blew up. I don't know, maybe somebody had like a, a piece of metal in there or something, I don't know. But this is the other mic we have already. You know what I mean? The Hamilton, you know. Big boys. Ooh, the numbers look crazy. Okay, you know the Hamilton. Got a little stuff inside there. Got yeah, a little Hamilton like a thousand watt. I don't even know what this little one is right here. I think, you know, these look. Oh, that's probably what it is, see? So I'm going to clean it up. Clean the one we're about to give her up a little bit, so. Dirty it is now. I'm gonna try to get all that out. But like I said, hers is way worse than this. So I'm about to clean it up and see what it looks like. YouTube. So I'll see y'all in there. So yeah, we still cleaning it out. And I think all right, I think that's about all. Well, I mean, I'm about to throw it away. But I said, if I know somebody that can use it. Why throw it away, especially if it works. But all these little spots right here, the little burn spots, they ain't not coming out. I mean, you know, maybe if I, I'm not going to put no kind of chemicals in here right now. Just some little water in the towel. I can still clean the top of that a little bit. See, we got it running. Rivals. <laughs> but yeah, we got it running, so we're going to see. Matter of fact, uh-oh. I think I heard something. I don't know, y'all. I think I might have heard that bitch want to blow up again. You're going to get a little test run. <clears throat> that thing moving kind of slow, too, though. I mean, it's not supposed to move fast. Let's see. You know what the real test is? I'm going to put something in there. Maybe a piece of pizza or something to test it out. How about a piece of the hungry habits from last night? All right, y'all, we're going to give it a test run with a slice of pizza. So, it's going to be the test. So, let's put it in there. Oh, yeah. A couple more pieces of hungry habits. Okay, we got a pizza button. Let's keep it there. Okay. No. We did it for him, even though in the whole pizza. We take this box off top. We don't want no kind of mishaps. So let's let's see what it's gonna do. Uh oh. I ain't like the way that sound, but let's see. It's, it's warming up though. Okay, there you go, there you go. Let me kick back in now. Okay. Got something, mama. We might got something for your mama. <laughs> I ain't gonna, let me see, 230? I think that might be too long for that pizza. No, actually, it still can go that way. See when that fan don't kick in? How you kind of worried? So let's see. Ooh, it's working. Yeah.
Okay. It warmed it up. Woo. Yes, sir. So it works. So one thing for sure, one thing for certain, it works. So that's a good sign. So I'm probably going to end up trying to clean it a little bit more, a little more detailed clean before I take it to her. But until then, yeah, boy, it's about to. Eat him a little pizza. Put a little of that Parmesan cheese on there. Crab. And let me say something, y'all. <laughs> a lot of y'all don't know the power. That y'all withholding sign of you, whatever. Everybody has their own powers. And we all try to release them a certain way. But sometimes, when you try to help people as much as you can, to help them learn themselves, you know what I mean? To, to be better in life, to feel better in life. Because, like, today is 11 11, of course. And for the past, I'm gonna say about for the past month or so, stuff been, stuff been, you know what I mean? Coming around in your life, in your face, and sometimes you don't know why you're there for the moment, or why, or brought you here, what brought you there. But I'm here to just tell y'all, like, As soon as you get yourself away from certain situations, certain toxic people, even bad habits type of deal, you know, your body, your mind, everything will feel better. Your mind will be clear. Your body will feel healthier. Well, I'm just saying this by experience. Oh, over the years, I done been through. I done been through a whole lot of things that I shouldn't be still here. I could be hurt up, locked up, I've been killed, you know what I mean, for real, for real, and then, you know, after the way you be like, you be like, how did I get out that situation? how I did without without trying and at the time you don't think about it I mean you think about it, but you don't be like how and why and who until like certain subject things, people come around, words be said, and you're like, that's how. I 
because I have some situation. Like I'll give y'all just like one, or maybe even two. And y'all might be like, that's not, that's not, uh, that don't have nothing to do with anything. That what y'all think. But for uh, for instance, one time, one time I was leaving work. And like I already knew my brakes was messed up. I already knew my brakes was messed up already, so in my head I'm already saying like like I had my brakes go out. I mean like brake pads bad go out a few times, you know what I mean? But this one time this one time now my brakes were bad. They was they was the worst they've been this time. I'm getting off work. But like I said, I know that my brakes are bad, so I know if you got bad brakes, if you if you think like mail to mail, it's hard to stop. Now you come to a stop like a stop sign or anything like that, you always you always tap your brake before you have to stop. You know what I mean? Just in case they don't stop, you have time to have, have time to maneuver how you need to. So this time, this is I'm talking about. I'm getting off work. Like I said, I know my brakes is bad. So I'm not going to be trying to speed no 45, 50 miles per hour. <laughs> knowing good and well my brakes don't stop. So I'm coming right here down Jack and Road. Past the old Burger King. Well, y'all didn't know Burger King. That. Past the old uh, Church's Chicken, whatever. Wendy's and all that. Coming to the light. By the McDonald's. In my head, I'm like, yeah. My brakes not working. So I'm going to pump my brakes early. Just, just so... I can stop in time. Just so happened this day, you know, listen, this day, yeah, you know, I'm always aware. So I'm in my head, I'm like, let me break before I have to stop, just in case my brakes don't work. Well, they're not working right anyway, just in case my brakes don't work like they're supposed to when they're bad. So I'm coming to the light, I'm hitting my brakes. I'm hitting my brakes. Now, you know, I'm trying to tap my brakes early, but for some reason this time now, Listen now, this time, my brakes were not working at all. They wasn't stopping. It wasn't no pumping them, pumping them bad, pumping them real hard. They stopped. No hit my emergency brake type of deal. Because I even was doing that, hitting the emergency brake. You know that, yeah. Y'all know the old school. You know, try to hit the emergency brake early before you stop. That wasn't even working. And, and I'm listening. Now, I wasn't going that fast now. I'm coming to the light at McDonald's. You know, I hit the light right here. You know, got Santa Fe coming across this way. And I'm coming straight, you know what I mean, going to the crib. Now, now you know, coming this way, it's 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 uh it's two lanes. You know, you got you got the you got the middle the lane that's beside the turning lane to the left, and you got two lanes going straight. Now, this now you got two lanes going straight. Now this is how I know I was blessed this day. You got two lanes going straight. No, we got the car on the outside, car on the inside. And this will happen. Now, this day, my brakes was not stopped. Now, I'm on the, and I'm on the, I'm on the right side of the lane coming this way, you know what I mean? And like, on, and on the side I'm going, it's also two lanes. Well, actually three lanes. One going left and two going straight. But, you know, the, the two going straight or you can make it right. So, I got in the far right lane just in case. Now, this is how I'm thinking. Just in case. I might have to maneuver some kind of crazy way if my brakes didn't work. Now listen now. <laughs> At the same time, while I'm thinking that, my brakes went out. Like I said, I, my, my light is red. So the, the light going across is green. So they're coming. This car is going across. Now my brakes not working. So I'm coming to the light. I hit my brakes. No, 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 no. So luckily... Smart as I was that time, I was able to make a sharp right turn because my brakes was not working. I couldn't stop. I was going to go straight. I was going to blow right past the light. Now, it's cars. They got the green light. So, it's cars coming straight still. Both sides. Cars going this way and cars coming that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I was blessed this day now. And somehow, my stick, my stick, my stick, I don't know how I'm going to say this. Meticulously, 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 magically, I don't know. 
but I was able to, my brake wouldn't stop. So I was able to make a quick right turn real quick because I couldn't stop. And, and I didn't want to keep going blowing past traffic because I would have got, I would have got hit. Boom, 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 boom from both sides probably in my little car. I wouldn't be here to tell y'all this story today <laughs> if it, was, it wasn't no like higher power or something to, <laughs> to give me a foresight of what was about to go and happen or you know what I mean? So I was able to bust me a right light, a right, right, a right, a bust a right light right there on Santa Fe. Now I made me a quick right light, a, a quick right, right, a quick right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, uh. I was able to make a right a, a right turn, you know what I mean? At the right, I made the right turn, and I did hit the curve a little bit. I had my rails on still, so I hit the curve a little bit. But I was able to. I mean, I didn't. You know what I'm saying? I ain't jumped the curve real bad, but I was able to make a sharp right turn, so I could avoid going through that traffic and getting hit by them two cars that was coming. But luckily, this was this was I was lucky right here. Like I said, it was two lanes coming across that way. But luckily, it wasn't a car in the right lane on the far right lane that time. But it was a car in the in the in the second in the lane in the lane towards the left turn lane. So it was a car coming across, but it just wasn't one on the other on the outside. So I was able to make me a right turn now, and I remember I remember like it was kind of like yesterday. It was like a I can remember what car it was. It was like a a silver Honda Accord, a newer model Honda Accord coming across. And luckily, I was I was I was blessed enough to make a quick right turn, so I could bust the right, so I wouldn't avoid hitting that car or that car hitting me. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying, it was a higher power with me that day for me not to blow through that traffic and kill myself or kill somebody else. You know what I mean? That's all I'm here to say. So sometimes you just gotta you just gotta you just gotta listen to. Your sixth sense. Don't never second guess yourself. Because I learned that too. I learned that too after you learn this. Now I always go to first instinct. Cause I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't another situation. I mean, you know, that was a bad situation. See that one right there, that situation right here wasn't it didn't turn out as as this one did. That's what I, I learned to learn to go for my first instinct because when I was when I was in my heyday doing my thing, when I got in trouble, you know, I was young, dumb, and, and chasing after funds. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was one of them good old nights. I was working at one of these little these little new restaurants around here. You know what I mean? Jugging and booging and everything. You know what I mean? Making my moves. You know, having a good night. And we was messing around and go to a. Um, I guess it's like a story time slash too. So we was, we was going to a club. Everybody from the restaurant was going to the club. You know what I mean? Wasn't it wasn't really in the club? It was like a bar. Whatever. We going to the bar. You know, we doing our thing. We jamming, listening to music. We out there doing whatever we gonna do out there. You know what I mean? Hustling, bustling, whatever. So we chilling. But it, it, on this night, you know, it was a good night. I kept, you know what I mean, getting phone calls. Boom, 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 scope, boom, 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 scope. Holler at me, come got that, that, that. So, you know, me being young, chasing it, chasing it, chasing it. Not even, you know what I mean, just not giving a care to the world, kind of, sort of. You know, just blindsided by, you know, what I thought was I was chasing after her. So, you know, doing that. And it's like this last time, this last time that I was going to go, you know, somebody called me and was like, uh, Man, now I think about it, that was like a setup. Somebody called me and was like, uh, yes, yeah, go. Um, come on, holler me one more time or something like that. Come on here, somebody blah 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 something. So me being me at the time, I'm like, yeah, I'm coming. But at first it was something I can't really remember. It was like uh it was something I I know in my first I was like, I didn't wanna I wasn't gonna go make that play. Cause something told me like Go ahead, go ahead to the house. You done made a couple. You done made enough already for the night. So you could you could go home. You could go home for the night. You know what I mean? Don't even worry about it. But me being how I am, you know, like you know, if I, I I try to keep my word. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, now nah, I'll be there. But at first I was like, nah, I don't wanna go. But me chasing it, I did go. And it so happened, you know what I mean? I went 
And I seen like, you know, I see some strange, like something wasn't right at the time when I went, to, I was at, I'm always at the light when, you know what I mean? I'm always at the light. I was at, you know what I mean? I'm at the light and I see like, uh, I think I see like some police cars either coming this way or it was some police cars like somewhere in the mix of me going back to this place. So, you know what I mean? I'm chasing it. And I should have, you know what I'm saying? That's why I learned, I learned a whole lot from stuff, from stuff that I went through. So I'm going back, going back. Like I said, I'm going back to to the uh, bar. I see like the police, something wasn't fucking feeling right. So we boom, we pull up in the parking lot. Me and my mans, I ain't saying no names. Me and my mans, we pull back, you know. And we went, we, you know what I'm saying, did what I had to do, serve or whatever. And like out there, in them days, we couldn't, we was in the, um, in them days, what you talking about? My Google account may be deleted next month. I ain't worried about that. So in them days, we was like, we was in the parking lot. We were drinking the parking lot. We go inside, get our liquor. You know what I mean? And because like, I, cause out there you could like, it was it was called. I ain't gonna say the name of that bar, but you could go outside and like chill a little bit. You know what I mean? You go out there and drink your little beverages, your liquor, whatever you got out there. You know we out there. You know what I mean? Doing whatever we do, smoking little cigarettes or left-handed ones. You know what I mean? But but you know we out there chilling. So I'm in the car, you know what I mean? Like, I always have my spider sense. I always be like, dee, 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 dee. so we out there chilling in the car. There's like some apartments behind us, behind where we was at. And I'm like, man, I sound like I hear like some, like some, either like some radios, like, you know what I mean? Like, I can hear like the police radios or something like that type of deal. So I'm already like, man, what's going on? Like, I like my head, I'm like, damn, what's going on back there? Not knowing, not knowing that there was the police back there. And you know what I mean? It's like, like I said, I feel like somebody set me up that day. It was crazy. You know what I mean? But like I said, I'm always, I go my, I'm going with my first instincts. From now on, that's why I say I learned from that. Like, on that day, the police rolled up in the parking lot. Like I said, I was doing my thug thizzle back then. So it was like, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? I was, I was doing my thing. The police rolled up in the parking lot. And I'm sitting in my car. Like I said, me and my homie, we sitting in my car. We got alcohol in the car. You know what I mean? I got firearms in the car, drugs in the car, money in the car, everything in the car because I didn't have a care in the world back then That's before I had kids. So, you know, hot boy stuff, you know what I mean? So it's like, like I said, I heard the people back there in the in the in the woods behind now it wasn't woods, but it was like apartments right there, but it was like some trees and bushes. So it was like in a fence. But you know what I mean? I could, like I said, I could hear something back there, but I'm not really, not really like, uh, you know, mine. So the next thing I know, a few minutes later, it's about three, four police cars. I don't even know how many police cars it was. So uh, I see the police roll up in the parking lot. Like I said, I'm sitting in my car. And so when I seen them pull up, I, I, I turned the car on and like, oh, I'm out. Got there. You know what I mean? I'm gone. You know, I'm, I'm gone. So the next thing I know, where they police go? They coming behind me. Yeah. They coming behind me. They on me. So I'm I'm in a damn, that's why I don't mess with these cars no more. I'm in a, a Dodge Neon. The be it was a 1995 Dodge Neon. They let me down from the police in Fedville. Now, yeah, like, you know... <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm out. I'm running my little nigga on. Trying to get away. Me and my homeboy, he in the car with me. So we in there going. I'm going. I'm in the neighborhood. I'm in behind there trying to get away from it. And a Dodge Neon. Tripping. Tripping. But you know when you on some stuff sometimes, boy, your mind don't be right. So I'm got them running, riding, riding. I'm like, oh, Lord. I'm like, what we going to do? So, hey, you know what I'm saying? We Tossing, 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 tossing. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, yo. You know what I mean? I'm going around the little neighborhood, trying to go up a hill. Police on my heels, like people chasing me. You know what I mean? I'm all cut through, cutting the high speed chase, yo. I'm tripping, I'm wilding. If I see that some camera boy, I wonder if them police got on dad's kid. I wouldn't mind seeing that. I would not mind seeing that high speed chase, but it was. But anyway. It didn't end out. It didn't end well. Like I said, I was tossing stuff out the window. So, like I said, tossing stuff out the window. And eventually, of course, the police caught me because the Dodge Neon 
was not fast at all. It was slow. It wasn't no souped up nothing. That thing let me down. The police was on my heels. So I ain't had no choice but to stop because they was on me. They would have damn pity me or something. So, you know, I stopped. Got a car. Like, I want you to run. I want you to run. They wanted me to run so they can either shoot me. Oh, man. Look, I want you to run. I want you to run. But they got me. I stopped because I said it ain't worth it. I already, you know what I mean? Everything's ain't nothing on me right now anyway. So that was that. And they, they put me and my homeboy in the car together. That's where they messed up at. But, you know. Back then, I mean, they, they had cameras in the car. So I'm saying, we sitting in the car together. So we listen to the radio inside the car. So I hear them say, uh, I hear them say, I hear on the thing that the police, they, they like I said, I'm tossing stuff out the window. Everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I hear them on the radio saying, oh, we found, we see a bag. We see her, we, we, we picked up a gun, such, 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 and everything. I'm like, look, I told my homeboy, look, since I'm the driver, they're going to take me to jail. So listen, I'm the driver. They're going to take me to jail. Like I said, I had, I had me, I had me, I had me a nice little bit of money in my pocket at for a time. You know, I mean, it wasn't no ten thousand dollars, nothing crazy. But I had about, I had about, about eighteen to two thousand dollars in my pocket almost. You know what I mean? Pretty much. So I mean, so I'm like, and, and like, I'm tell y'all when I first when I checked out, when I first got out the police car, when the police first got me out the car, I forgot to tell y'all this. When he pulled me out the car, he put his hands in my pocket, put everything in my pocket. He like, and I had my money in a bank roll, in a bank, uh, in a, uh, a, a, a money clip type of deal. And he put my money out like, oh, you had you a good night tonight, you know what I mean? And he put my money back in my pocket. That's before that they put me in my home in the car together, you know what I mean? Like, I'm smart. I'm too smart for these mothers sometimes. So he put me and my homeboy in the car together. And, uh, and uh, you know what I mean? Like I said, then that's when we uh, we start hearing about, okay, we found this, we found that, we found this. You know what I mean? That's when I was told him, like, hey, listen, I'm the driver, so they're going to take me to jail regardless. You know what I mean? So I'm like, listen, look, he had about $80, 80 like $81 in his pocket. You know what I mean? So I'm like, listen, give me the money in your pocket. And I'm going to give you my money because they're going to take the money I have, but they're not going to take your money. Like, I was too smart. So, we're in the back seat, handcuffing all. I'm like, listen. I'm like, yeah, I'm going in my pockets. Like, here, here, take my money. Give me your money. You know what I mean? So, we switch your money. And that's where the cop didn't remember. You know what I mean? Yo. And if they see this now, hey, it's been, it's been over. It's been over 20 years ago. You know what I mean? So... It was like an 04. And what we is now? 23? Yeah. Come on now. So, yeah, we, we switch your money. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to jail anyway, regardless. They, you, they, you, you're going to go downtown, but I'm going to get locked up. And we are, I already knew that. Just because from watching, I already know what was going on. And they messed up for putting us in the car together and everything. But, like I said, we switched money. So, I went to jail. I got locked up. For sure, I got locked up for everything. I'm taking his charges, my charges, everything. And plus, like, look, and like, we're, itself was going throwing out the passenger side door anyway. It wasn't going out the driver door, so we were throwing out the passenger side door. So I'm like, and so, uh, you know, when they, when I, when I, uh, when they got us, got us, got me, I was like, yeah, everything is mine. You know what I mean? I take the charge, it's mine. They were like, how's yours? It's going out the passenger side door. You know what I mean? It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, they, they was trying to like, you know what I mean? Like, I was saying it's mine because I knew I was going to jail already. So, but y'all throwing out the passenger side door, so how's it yours? Don't worry about that. I already said it's mine, so just let it be. So yeah, man, I got so this like I said, I don't know how I came to this to where I'm at now, but I'm saying how okay, how I I like sometimes I I don't know how even though the situation weird it was, how can the higher power help me with that? Because he always I mean just because I be having like a, a sixth sense about certain things or visions that's gonna happen, you know what I mean, before it happens. But at, at that time, I had, like I said, I'm just going to go. I should have went with my first instinct. Because, like I said, I don't learn. The first instinct is always the right one. You know what I'm saying? So, I learned from, from 20 years ago. I always go with my first instinct type of deal. So, with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Because I'm getting a little too in-depth into what I was trying to tell y'all. And what the reason I made this video. Because I started off from... Taking my mom's, taking this this uh, microwave to my mom's house. You know what I mean? I don't know how I end up talking about 
where I'm at now, but I did anyway. Cause I'm just telling y'all, man. I always go to first instinct, and sometimes you gotta clean. You gotta clean your surroundings. You know what I mean, get certain people from around you. Stop doing certain things you're doing for you to have a clear mind of yourself and your health and everything under the belt. But nah, man, this your boy Skull Nine One Zero. Sign out to next time. If y'all like little stuff like this, y'all let me know. I don't know. I'm just, you know what I mean? Hey, I'm just a vessel. Nah, but yeah, this your boy Sco910. Like I was trying to say, this your boy Sco910. And if y'all like little videos like this, y'all let me know. And uh, check out my main channel at Sco910. You know what I mean? But yeah, peace.